Brinkley gave Milford, Kansas, America's fourth radio station. Broadcasting at 5,000 watts, it was the most powerful station in the world. Dr. Brinkley was a pioneer of radio. There's no question about that. I mean, when he started KFKB in Kansas there, it was in 1923. Dr. Brinkley stretched boundaries in quite a lot of ways. Talking about sex just wasn't done at that time. And he was kind of like the Dr. Ruth Westheimer of the 20s and 30s. You men and you women who are sexually dead, sexually weak, men and women who have lost their sex glands by accident, injury, or surgery, men and women who are long discarded of ever having any sex life again. <coughs> NBC and other stations would broadcast what they called potted palm music. It was music that was real nice and sweet and safe. The programming on KFKB ranged from comedy programs. Don't argue with me, Emmett. You don't know what you're talking about. Your hillbilly singers and musicians. You had your singing cowboy. Brinkley was really the first guy to blast country music across the nation. It was an incredibly popular radio station. People never knew what they were, they were gonna hear next. 